So continuing in our last video, we made this small mistake. So then this the Green's function for the Schrodinger equation, instead instead of being uh, um, yeah instead of being this is with the minus sign up front. Okay, so then once we have calculated uh, the Green's function, so the particular solution. The particular solution to our original equation, the Schrodinger equation in Helmholtz form, given by Laplacian by kappa square uh, times the wave function equals to Q of R. So then it's going to be given in terms of the Green's function in the following way so the particular solution okay the particular solution which is different than the total solution so psi particular of r is going to be the integral over d3r prime of the green's function of r minus r prime of q of r prime okay so then now we're going to replace everything we know here so then integral over the 3r prime the green's function is a minus sign here is e to the i k uh, mm, or kappa better yes this is kappa of r minus r prime here divided by 4 pi absolute value of r minus r prime that's the green's function of r minus r prime and here it is 2m divided by h bar square this is v of r prime this is psi of r prime okay so then in this after all is going to give us a contribution with a factor up front giving m minus m divided by 2h bar square pi uh, integral over d3r prime uh, d3r prime of e to the i kappa Kappa times R minus R prime divided by R minus R prime times V of R prime times Psi of R prime. So then this is the particular solution for the Schrodinger equation. Now the homogeneous, the total solution for um, differential equations we know let's change color here we know that the total solution for differential equations are given by the homogeneous solution plus the particular solution which is in the presence of some potential or some external term that means that the total solution for the wave function is given by the homogeneous solution minus m divided by 2 h bar square pi the integral over d3 r prime e to the i kappa r minus r prime divided by r minus r prime this that's an absolute value the one we have there uh, times v of r prime psi of r prime so then now for this we need to know some psi some value for psi so then uh, you can see this is a scattering problem so then where um, 
This is a scattering problem where psi of r is the wave function of the electron after it scatters against this potential v of r prime. And these are all the previous values of r, um, of the wave function before it actually scatters against this potential here, v of r prime. If you want to be more, let's say, correct about it then you have to plug this in here and then you will get a larger expression then you keep on plugging it in and plugging it in, and you will get many more expressions to several orders of magnitude these are all the different scattering processes that can take place at this barrier v of r prime so then but that's a scattering problem and we're not concerned about this we're concerned about motivating the existence of the Green's function in quantum mechanics as it exists in classical um, physics. So then th that this is all, and uh, thank you very much for watching.